Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day 20 of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. If you've seen this before and you know how it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I'm blind tasting a dram a day in the lead up to Christmas. My wife has picked 24 drams from my sample collection of over 150 whiskies, and she'll put one a day in this blue Glencairn glass. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it, and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. So if you'd like to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Okay, so it's a little bit salty, possibly some peat, some orchard fruits, some vanilla, maybe a little hint of burnt rubber, a little bit yeasty, hint of cereal, Maybe some dark fruits in there as well. Hmm. It's quite interesting, this one. Let's move on to the palette. Hmm, it's quite nice. It doesn't have much in the way of texture, but it's quite fruity, like red apples, charred oak, maybe a hint of tobacco leaves. Hmm, it doesn't seem like there's peat in there, even though I did get like a smoky sort of peaty hint on the nose, but it's quite sweet, some vanilla. But I don't think it's high ABV at this point. Let's have another sip. Yeah, definitely red fruits. I wouldn't say it's high ABV. Definitely under 46% would be my guess. A little bit of yeast, a little bit of cereal. Really is a um, good combo of flavours. That tobacco-y note that I picked up first on the palate isn't overly strong now. Nice sort of red fruits and, and those red apples. Some vanilla, a little bit of heat. Yeah, and it sits on the tongue really well. A little bit spirity with the finish, but mmm, yeah, it's not a bad combo of flavours, this one. I'd say, reminds me of a Scotch whisky, maybe like a Highland Scotch whisky. I'd say it's under 46% ABV, and um, yeah, most likely a single malt, but it's um, really is quite interesting, and um, I like the fruitiness of this one, yeah. Should we find out what's in my glass? Right, so it's a Ben Nevis 1997 Provenance, 46% ABV, and it was sent to me by Stephen Pedley. So thanks, Stephen. Wasn't really picking up a dirtiness, which I often pick up on a Ben Nevis. Um, but obviously, I haven't had that many Ben Nevises, so um, that dirtiness you know that dirty note is more by reputation than by actual experience 46 percent abv i did say that i thought it was you know no more than 46 percent abv so i was right there and it really is good to try something a little bit different i don't know much about this particular bottling i don't even know the actual age um i'm assuming it's quite well aged as it's 1997 but it's, yeah, really interesting, really nice, and um, glad to have that in my sample collection. Hopefully, you'll come back for more tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.